Yes, uh, affect uh, everyone equally. That means nobody will not be affected, but not uh, equally that everybody take the same profit. So I'm very pleased to join this session. And ITU is the International Telecommunication Union. It's the oldest UN agency, 80 years older than UNESCO. But we worked very hard for new technologies and telecommunications. And uh, as uh, Hani mentioned that uh, education in 1970s, 80s, I still remember the 1970s, you have a broadcast for education. And 1980s, 90s, you have a television for broadcasting. So all these uh, technology are developed by ITU. And nowadays, you have these broadband connections. You have a virtual tools like uh, Zoom, like Teams. This is all based on ITU the standard for virtual Codings. So all this we worked very hard, and we worked also very hard with our sister organization like UNESCO. We worked together, I myself and Audrey, DG of UNESCO, are co-vice chair of the United Nations Broadband Commission. Very, very much focused on education as well, of course, for internet uh, connectivities. And also we worked together with UNESCO, with others, uh, to organize uh, WISIS, World Summit Information Society. And WISIS is the meeting we organized in 2003, 2005. And then in 2005, we already set up goals to have all the schools be connected by 2015. Today, we are still talking about that. So there's a lot of challenges here. I'm very pleased to show up at this podium uh, that uh, gender balance. And uh, together with uh, uh, those uh, ministers on the screen, you know, that uh, you heard the uh, minister of China, he was now minister of education. But he was a minister of uh, ICT technology. And his last visit to uh, international trip was visiting ITU. Then he moved to education to the others. So that I'm very pleased to see that the ICT you know, nowadays is really you know, working to support everything, everyone. And we still know that the school should be connected, but still not connected yet. And to have our school connected, we have developed together with UNICEF the GIGA project. And I would very much appreciate at this moment that the Norwegian government give us some generous support. So you want me to stop? You know, I could stop at any moment. No, no, uh, no, no. You, have, you have a bit more time. Uh, I just wanted you to keep your microphone close. Uh, is your microphone me, technique, uh, Mr. Zhou? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So ICT is absolutely important, in my opinion. We, when we talk about the transformation of uh, Education Summit, you look at the logo, you have the Wi-Fi connection. So that, we, you, you, that means everybody recognizes that without the ICT, this transformation of education will not be successful, if I may say that. So that is absolutely strong you know, uh, message I'd like to share with you. And ITU now is also taking care of uh, digital skills. So we work with IAO to have uh, digital skill training in Africa for use. And uh, this year we celebrate uh, our World Telecommunication Information Society Day, 17th of May, with a theme to see ICT for older people and for aging uh, the health aging. So we try to help uh, the retired uh, senior uh, people you know, to have a digital skill. Because nowadays they also suffered heavily from the pandemic. They don't know how to use the uh, internet to, to, to manage their life. And we have to help them. So all this, I think that uh, this is something we, we are very pleased. And uh, I was very pleased to be invited by uh, Secretary General of the UN to join this uh, advisory uh, in a committee of uh, this is a summit, and uh, I, have, I participated in almost all the major uh, sessions, and I'm uh, very pleased uh, uh, to, to come here. But uh, anyhow, the, the former Minister of Education of Italy, you know, he, she mentioned uh, her experiences, I can tell you. A couple of years back, Mr. when Joe. I talked to the parliament, parliament told me that even in Italy, not all the schools be connected. M Mr. So, Joe, yeah, that is I, I something love your I enthusiasm, uh, yeah. and I love the history that you've been giving <laughs> us, and the credit you have taken personally for all the achievements of IT over the past 50 years. Fantastic. <laughs> it was wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah.